Hey guys, it's me, the Autistic Artist. I am here right now to talk about Azelken, which is a pretty good show about being an artist. Now, in order for you to properly understand the show, I want you to just uh, picture something right now. Picture like the most ultimate artistic project you could ever possibly have uh, if you ever just had all the time and the money in the world. Okay? You got that in your head? You got that image of the uh, ultimate artistic endeavor? Now, I want you to look at this drawing that I just did there. Literally, like you saw me draw it in the amount of time. See this? D do you see it? Believe me when I say I am 100% serious when I tell you that this piece of shit that I drew in like 5 minutes no, not like, that I drew in like 30 seconds. That is infinitely better than that dream project you had in your mind. For a simple reason of it actually fucking exists. There is an infinite number of creative ideas with the potential to be masterpieces that could truly resonate with millions, if not billions of people on a deeply personal level. Without a tangible form to express these ideas in a way other than acknowledge that the production is occurring, but Azo can acknowledge that the production is occurring, but really treat the whole experience as more of a drama. Azo can turns the sap. The focus is on. The focus is on creation. Turns the sap. The focus is on. <laughs> Without a tangible form to express these ideas, in a way other than you just desperately trying to tell people that that's the idea you just had, then these ideas mean nothing. Azaken is a show about being creative. This much should be obvious from a basic plot synopsis. Anime with a high school club that get up to shenanigans except the shenanigans here is creating an anime. The focus is on creation. The story is about being creative. And the show has a lot to say about being a creator. Now, there is a huge difference between creating something and creating something good. I made my first YouTube video within a week of me owning my very first laptop. I poured my heart and soul into it, understood where the issues were, but genuinely thought that it had the potential to be something truly amazing. I do have to state that I like Yuri, something that's rather underrepresented in shows. So that video is no longer again, public because it was cringy and gay and I had to use my laptop's crazy. shitty microphone to record it and didn't even this know how to use This is honestly kind of the point of Azaken. My favourite character of the show by far is Kanamori. Not just because her unapologetically scabby nature is charming in its own right, but what she provides to the Azaken. She's a businesswoman and genuinely loves money. But at the same time, she tells the group that they should aim to make a profit with what they create because money motivates people way more than passion does. Just look at my channel as an example of how true that is. Remember when I was like, I'm gonna do weekly uploads this year and then I missed the deadline on literally the very first upload. This is something I genuinely love doing, yet I have never once been late for my shitty job that I hate because at the end of the day, I get paid. There is a reward for success and a consequence for failure. This cripplingly realistic portrayal of what it means to create something worthwhile prevails throughout the show. You'll have these short segments of nothing but creative bliss, developing ideas until you have concrete vision of what the end product will be while that fecking iconic tune starts blaring in the background before four episodes of the mundane, boring work starts to take place and our characters are forced to turn that vision into an actual product that can resonate with an audience. All of the narrative stakes from Azaken come from any complications that occur while their anime is being produced and how they have to learn to let their final product become worse in order for it to actually exist. That is the thesis statement of the show. A bad piece of art that was actually created is infinitely better than something perfect 
that only exists in your mind. Aza Ken is a show about being creative, and I love this series because it means so much more because of that. 9 out of 10.